So, this is probably the first ever Final Fantasy game I've ever played. This is also probably one of my favorite games of all time. I don't know. It's high on the list. I really, I really like this game. Though. I love this game. I wish there was more. <laughs> okay, so obviously this is Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. I have not played the originals. I have played Advance One and Two. Uh, do I have save on here? Okay, I played a little bit on here. So yeah, I played this game. I played this game to death. And I guess we're going to go right to the story. That's fine. But yeah, I played this game to death. And I was really excited that the second one was coming out. And yeah. I think... I like tactics games ever since I played this. I, 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 I'm, I, I like, I kind of like tactics more, uh, tactics style more games. I'm also more of a turn-based game player, although I don't have a problem with the action RPGs. But this is probably closer to my jam. <laughs> oh man, why did I get stuck on the weak team? We're just gonna lose. Where's the fun in that? I wish I could speed up the text. I mean, I could press buttons to speed it up. Hey, mute! Where's your little bear today? Mm. He didn't want to get it. He didn't want his precious bear to get wet in the snow. Ah, uh, did your mommy give you that bear? I don't know if I'll do a full. You know what? Screw it. We're gonna do a. We're gonna do a. Uh story run let's call it that so i'm not going to bore you with random bits side quest here and there unless there's like a story in it what's your problem new kid leave him alone he's not going to say anything anyways he's like a little girl excuse me hey that's gender discrimination and i know some little girls who can kick your butt whoa ritz what's your problem you don't want to be on that team, right? How about we switch? That'd be better. Let's start already. You should speak up. Tell them your name at least. Can't be new kid forever. I could be. Uh, can this fit? It fits. Sorry. You don't have to apologize. You haven't done anything wrong. Eh. Okay, Mr. Lizay. Lay I don't know how to pronounce that. We're ready to go. Then let's get the snowball fight started. Ready? I like how this is a technically a tutorial. Got it. Gotten used to the snow in St. Evelise yet? It's much warmer from where you're from. Well, technically, <laughs> this would be true, isn't it? Yes, sir, never snow. This is practically my first snowball fight. I actually not seen snow. Unless you count me as a little baby, that doesn't count. Really? Then let's give, let me give you some pointers. Let me speak properly. Ritz, could you help out? Help us out? Can you help us out? Yes, Mr. Laz. <laughs> Kids with the highest speed moves first. So yeah, turn order. Speed determines turn order. Once your turn comes around, move. First, you have to move. You can only go a set distance. So think first, then move. When the menu is enough, press the beat button to see your move range. You can redo a move as many times as you want, unless you attacked. Ready to move? I go here. Okay, now that you're... 
Okay, now that you're in position, you can throw a snowball. Choose snowball from the action menu. The green color panel show your throwing range. Now choose where you want to aim within that range. If no one from the other team is in range, just wait. Waiting makes your take makes your turn come up around quicker. I don't think that's true in this game. It's very true in Advance 2. Okay, here we go. Yeah. You missed. You suck. Once you're thrown, you have to choose a facing. Once you're choosing a facing, your turn ends. Uh, this does matter. Understood. I do hate that you don't really have control over that during the whole tutorial. They kind of like explain it and then you're like, hey, remember everything. Yeah, I think so. Thanks, Riz, Mr. Laz. Let's get back to the snowball fight then. Good luck. You can see help for any game command. To view, choose, select, to press, select. Like. Hi, look. Okay. So yeah, here's our stuff. Uh, I'm going to try to remember everything. I don't remember everything. <laughs> so, so yeah, you got your move. She can only move three spots. What's her range? You can hit four. I think the direction you face is your accuracy. So if I hit him, 75. Yeah, Okay, so fa direction de determines accuracy. So yeah. Also, they are names: Colin, Lyle, Guinness, and Elaine. 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 I'm guessing that's Elaine. Car. Uh, those actually come up later in the game. Yeah, we'll just put. We'll just pelt you. It. So it's best to always try to face towards your enemies instead of having your back against them. Also, this is also mean, but these guys. are only targeting mute. It's your turn! Ah, there's a trick to throwing a snowball too. It's easier to hit someone from the side. Oh, he actually tells you from the side or behind. Kind of wish they told you that before taking Ritz turn. Think about which way your opponent's facing when you move. So yeah. Like, this is going to be 75, she should be 50, yeah. And this should be, yeah, the highest, 88. Okay. Pilch you from the back. Boink. And since they're only targeting mood, it doesn't really matter here. <laughs> Boink. Doesn't really matter what I do here. Pelt. Pelt. Good old snowball fight. We'll pelt you from the back. <laughs> this should be the last turn. Yeah. Hey, no running away, Mute. But that's what Mute does best. Ha ha! Mm. Doink. 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 Will you two stop it? What? We're not breaking any rules. Sure. You've been aiming at Mute the whole time. Are you okay, Mute? Yeah, I'm fine. 
See, he says he's fine, so what's the problem? He knows you'd pick on him worse if he said anything else. Ouch! Mute, your forehead is bleeding. Hmm? There was a rock in that snowball. Hey, I didn't throw any rocks. It's Mute fault for being so lame. Oh yeah, that's a great excuse. He's... He's an easy target, and we gotta get points, right? So the end justifies the means. You guys are horrible. Whatever you say, Whitey Locks. What did you call me? <laughs> we know you dye your hair because it's r really all white. Yeah, just like an old grandma. Haha, <laughs> little prissy grandma. <laughs> Step over here and say that, to f say that again. <laughs> it's like, enough kids. Children behave. This snowball fight is over. Lyle, Colin, Guinness, you, I want you to come with me. Mute, how's your forehead? It's just bleeding. It's okay, I'm fine, really. That's it for class day. The rest of you can go home. It is kind of a long intro. Um, um. Thank you. I can't stand bullies who pick on little kids. Those jerks. So, what are you doing after this? I plan on... Why? <laughs> I'm going to go buy this book. And I was wondering if I... I was wondering if you wanted to come along. Sorry, I can't. My little brother's getting out of the hospital today. Hospital? Was he sick? No, it's just something he was born with. We have to take him to the hospital every now and then. Wow, that's rough. What kind of book are you going to buy? It's about monsters and magic and stuff like that. Why don't you bring it over to my house? I'm sure Don, my brother, would love to see it. I actually don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. It's Duned. <laughs> Duned. <laughs> I don't know. Well, if you're sure, it's okay. If you're sure if it, if it if you're sure it's okay absolutely why don't you come to Ritz me um gee I guess I don't have any plans okay great you two know where my house is it's the yellow house right over there <laughs> I'll come over as soon as I buy that book I'll be waiting I also really like the music. Gosh, I'm really sorry. Uh-oh. I'm really, really sorry. Please accept my apologies. Mr. Randall, we expect a certain level of performance, regardless of circumstances. It won't happen again. Don't worry, I'll fix things up here. Oh, thanks, thanks. Thank you for waiting, shall we? Let's go. Look at that guy cringing like that. Embarrassing. <laughs> mute, mute, is that you? Oh, he knows you. Hi, Dad. Oh, it's your dad. Oops. <laughs> School's out already? Eh. These your friends? Yeah. Um... Don't you still have work to do, Dad? Ah, yes, you know, busy, busy, busy. Hey, that reminds me of another game. You keep an eye on mute for me, eh? You know, I thought he worked at that cafe right there. Hey, maybe a little explain it. He used to work at a bigger company before. When Mom died, he stopped caring. He broke down big time. He seems nice. Not many parents talk to their kids like that. I bet I bet you used to go out on vacation and stuff a lot. Oh well. Yeah, they didn't really explain it. Yeah, I thought he was staying. I thought I thought he worked at that cafe because he was standing in front of it with the two guys, but I don't know. Maybe it was just like a lunch out or something like that. Uh, I don't know. Well, we'll be waiting for you at my place. 
You, how much do you know about him? Eh? I guess your family has has its problems too, but I heard that he doesn't have a dad. And off we're going. <laughs> Ned. Oh, hiya! Welcome back. You're kind of late, aren't you? We had a snowball fight at class. At school. I am totally soaked. A snowball fight, huh? Did you... Did they pick on you again? I'm just not used to the snow, that's all. Yeah, you always were bad at sports. <laughs> Your guests are here! Telling them to come up. You invited over some friends? Yeah, one of them says he found this really cool book. I thought you might want to see it too. You like books, don't you? You're always reading them. I have nothing better to do. <laughs> Only because there's nothing else to do in the hospital. <laughs> nothing except read and play games. Hello, we're here. That is a TV. You must be done. You must be done, Ed. I'm Brits. I'm your brother's classmate. And this is Mute. Hiya. You get that book, Mute? <laughs> yeah, right here, but I don't know what the title is. Even the guy at the used bookshop couldn't read it. Wow, it looks really old. Let's see what it says. Can you see, Daned? <laughs> We get a fancy cutscene. It's a book. It's a magic circle. It's a die? <laughs> I, no, I don't know. <laughs> All the different races in the game. I meant book. <laughs> it's an old game. It's almost 20 years. This came out in 2003. This is an old game. I'm old. <laughs> I can't read these letters at all. Neither can I. Maybe there's some kind of magic spell. You might not be too, you might not be too far off. Look, a magic circle. Maybe this is Latin or something? And there are some later editions. What does this say? Alta Oran Sanda I'm sure it sure sounds like magic. Wow, a magic book. I wish I could use magic. I knew you'd like it, Dined. If you could use magic, maybe you'd be better at sports. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> It'd be cool if this was, if this really were a magic book. Had you ever read a book and thought, what if this, what if the world in this book was the real world? I don't know. Most books are so boring. They're all, they're all way too predictable. Well, what do you like, Rich? Comic books, games, <laughs> you know, fighting monsters and all that. Okay, if you can make any game real, what, which would it be? Hmm, that's a good question. I'd pick Final Fantasy, because that's the title of this game. <laughs> that's my favorite. And there's no other, no other games. <laughs> my, my, look at the time. I should get going. I should be going soon. Yeah, me too. See you at school. Thanks for having us over. Nice meeting you too, Daned. See you later, Ritz. Wait, I'll see you guys out. Be right back, Daned. How many times will we say Daned? <laughs> I wish I could use magic. Daned, it's time for your medicine. Come in. There's a skateboard, too.
Man, this is a this is a. I knew this was a long intro, but I never actually timed myself. Dogs. I like how he has a clothing hanging behind like drawers and stuff. The world is changing. Where's the snow? What is that? <coughs> Excuse me. I wonder if they're fully aware that they're transformed. Although it looks like, like time's paused. I lost my brother to Nad. I'm sleeping on top of a building now. Where the hell am I? Oh, excuse me. That's where you're going, son. You're a lizard. <laughs> They're running away because they know what he said. What did you say? I am... Uh, you said lizard. I ain't no lizard. It takes... Uh, it takes a lot of nerve to call a bunga. I don't know if I'm saying that right, a lizard. Kubo! There you are, Kubo! It's a Moogle! Moogle, this human brat with you. Yes, Kubo, he's just coming in. He just come in from the countryside, you see. Uh, apologize to the... Apologize, if I could word correctly, to the Banga. Um, Kubo. Sorry. Please excuse him. He's not used to seeing Baga Banga. <laughs> Keep wanting to say Bagamon, but... Same area, different game. Hey, you wait. Coop up. Those clothes, you're a soldier, aren't you? A soldier? Yes, yeah, so... You wouldn't mind a little engagement. Er. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> He's engaging you, Coop Although, I guess this is technically the better tutorial. And they are targeting the Moogle. Mont Blanc. Wait a second. I get it. Engage means fight. You sure are keen observer of the obvious, Kubo. <laughs> There's the judge and the laws are set for all. Or, this bad. Laws are... Whatever. Laws are set for today. <laughs> Judge laws? Uh-oh. Don't tell me you don't know about those. The laws day forbid the use of all items, Kubo. Always be sure to check the laws or you'll be sorry. Check the current from the command menu. Okay. Wait, so engagement is a battle. And the laws are the rules for the battle. And that guy in armor is the judge? Kubo, you're, it's your turn. Use your sword and your abilities. I'll back you up. Oh, okay, here it goes. Boop, boop, boop. Um, I don't think you know any. Yeah. Uh, first aid is just a self-heal. It's not a great heal, but... It's a heal, nonetheless. They're going after Kubo! Oh, I don't control him. That's fine. Mont Blanc starts off as a black mage. 
so he's going to have an easier time with the... Oh, he missed the monk. Uh, the monk has high evasion. But he's going to have an easy time with the, the, the warrior. The, the one closer to me. Yeah, this is a warrior. I think that's a warrior. Yeah, warrior. Okay. Nope, we're going to move. Uh, we're going to go beat up this guy. Take him out. You have been awarded one judge point. KO verified one judge point. <laughs> judge point? What's that? Collect judge points. That way you can use combos with other clan members. It makes engagements a snap, Koopo. I actually do kind of like the combo system. It's kind of hard to find the combo weapons, sort of. Actually, I just... It's kind of difficult. So, all I have to do is defeat my opponent's gotcha. I like how the judge has a turn. I actually do like the judge in here because they'll um like if I KO'd the um the warrior here and there was still a battle going on when it comes to the judge's turn he's gonna move that warrior over so that it's not they're not the bodies are not touching it's just a neat little thing and it does help I have combo Hey, well, let's do the combo. And your combo does more damage the more allies that you have jump in that have a combo. Woo, I guess I made it somehow. Battle one! I'm hurt. Where's that potion? Oh no, he broke the law. Infraction of law forbidding items. All violators will be sent to prison. Kubo the Slammer. I hope I never get sent there. The Slammer? Yeah, prison. They send people who break the law there. Oh, it's a dark and scary place. Perpetrator sentenced and imprisoned. Visitors are asked to go to the prison facility and scrum. Sprom, sprom. Sprom prison? What have I gotten myself into? The law system is kind of weird because there's yellow cards, which are warnings, and then there's the red cards, which you just saw. You get sent immediately to prison. And yeah, you can remove them from, and there, there's a record on them on each year, heroes, but. I don't really know too much about that because I haven't really. I try to be good. <laughs> Thanks for helping me. Never call a bunga a lizard. Kubo. Sorry, I really didn't know. You have seen a bunga before, right? Uh, yes. Well, no, not a real one, at least. Kubo, where exactly are you from, Kubo? Kadoyan Muscadet. Muscadet. I don't know. I'm all confused. And on top of it, I'm talking to a stuffed animal. A stuffed animal? I'll have you know. I'm a Moogle, Kubo. Fine, you're a Moogle. What's that? Okay, I believe you. You're confused. Let me explain. This is the town of Siri. 
Cyril. Cyril. In the land of Ivelisse. Ivelisse? That's the name of the town I'm from. Town? But Ivelisse is a country. Not my Ivelisse. And there's no bangas there either. Bangas, bangas. What about Mughals? Surely the other towns have them. Nope. We just have normal things like cats and dogs. Or dogs and cats. But you said you've seen a banga before, not a real one. What do you mean, Koopa? Oh, yes, I've seen a banga, but it's in a computer game, not real life. Koopa? It's called Phantom Fantasy. It's not real. Not really. It's like a pretend world with heroes and monsters. So you're saying here is like your pretend world? Yeah, come to think of it, it's just like in the game. Okay, now I'm the one that's confused, Koopa. Sorry, I know I'm not being very helpful. No, this is this is by far the most Koopa story I've ever heard. <laughs> You're telling me. Of course, I'm not entirely sure I believe you, Koopa. I can hardly believe it myself. What should I do? I think our meeting like this was no accident, Koopa. Stick with me and I'll help you out, okay, Koopa? Thanks, by the way, I'm me. What's your name? They call me Mont Blanc. Come with me, Koopa. It's the pub. What's this place? This is where our clan members hang out. Clans are like groups of people who work together. Wow, everybody looks so tough. Well, our clan takes on some pretty rough jobs. Of course, the pay is good, and there's never a dull moment. Maybe someone here knows how I can get back home. You could ask around. Koopa, can I join the clan too? Sure thing. I just have to introduce you. And you're in. Hey, everyone. I'd like to introduce this guy. He's a real loser. Hello. <laughs> Me and the others will help you... Me and the others will help you out. Maybe we can help you find your way, your way home. Koopa. Say, Mont Blanc, does this clan have a name? Well, it's kind of a small clan, so no, not yet. Why don't you give it a name? Me? To commemorate you joining the clan. Make it a Koopa one. Because we're so original. <laughs> It's for we should be out as called Glade Grind. Okay, let's get you settled in, shall we, Koopa? This is where this is where we are right now. In Ivelisse. Symbols are received when you complete a mission. Place them to add new missions at a pub. Place them in a special order to reveal treasures. Try to find special combinations yourself. Sparam. Uh, so yeah, there is a special combination. I think if you can set things like there is a, there is actually a certain order to get certain treasures. I don't remember them by uh, I don't remember them. But I'm actually going to place this one up here. But yeah, uh, that's just the start of the game. <laughs> And there's a little bit more to happen, but I don't want to make this a too long of an episode. But yeah, this is Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. I really love this game, and I can't wait to play more as I... Okay, that, not, that didn't fall over. <laughs> so yeah, that's going to be it for today's episode. I will see you guys in the next growing.